Right everyone, my name is Anthony Cummings and I'm the author of about 20 books on um, Japanese culture, military culture, things like that. Now, a question that gets brought up all the time is, Anthony, you've got so many books out, what should I read, in which order? And the answer to that is always difficult because it depends on what you're after. So I'll give you my recommendation of the order you should read my books in. So uh, let's start with Samurai. So if you want to learn just about Samurai, I would start with Samurai and Ninja. It gives you an overview of the Samurai. The same will be for Ninja, but basically the first half is about an introduction to Samurai. Second half is introduction to Ninja. And it's that book, I think Stephen Ojiri said, uh, he wishes he'd have had that book when he just started researching it because it's your first step into understanding. Next is Book of Samurai, 1600s text on life as a samurai, just in general, and then it goes into life at war. A little bit heavy going, but it's, it's, if you like the first one, then you want some core actual what did samurai say, that one. But then to have a break from like hardcore stuff, go for the ultimate art of war. It'll start to show you, even though this is Chinese, the samurai love the art of war, fully illustrated and it sort of shows you how they were thinking strategically. That'll clear your mind like a, a sorbet between uh, dishes in a restaurant. You then go for the very heavy, very difficult book of Samurai 2. Samurai Arms, Armour and the Tactics of Warfare. That is heavy going. Medieval text, follow up to book one. Bloody difficult. Lots of armour parts, lots of um, complex religious aspects. So you'll need a bit of a break after that. Bit of break after that, I'd go for samurai war stories. Basically, a translation of three or four documents from the samurai from the early days, but a bit light-hearted on how they do their tactics, how they do their life. And even though it's a medieval document, it's written to be quite light-hearted and easygoing. And it was purposely written that way by a samurai so that the, the samurai of the... 1650s who were like losing their ability for war would actually be able to easily get back into understanding how to do war next i would probably read um this the lost samurai school secrets of mubyoshi ryu this is a great overview of what it, the curriculum of a samurai school so basically if you want to know about what samurai did in overall in their schools then this is the book for you very heavily illustrated Lots of martial arts, lots of stuff. I should do more out of this book. Kuji, etc, etc. So don't forget that. That is The Lost Samurai School, Secrets of Mubyo Shiryu. By this point, um, you might need a little bit of a, again, a little bit of an easier going, like really refreshing stuff. And to get old Japan. That just really sets up what Japan was like. You know, really sort of puts, fills those little gaps in. So old Japan by me. One of my, I think, more easy access books, that, but not so direct. It's a bit of a basic book for all Japan. Then, finally, the dark side of Japan. Get the folklore, get the magic, get the, the you know, the, the sort of like what was going on in the esoteric world with the kuji and the demon magic and everything like that. I did want to follow that up one up with the light side of Japan, uh, but I've never been able to get around to it, to be honest. I'm too bloody busy. So that's the order in which you would do samurai things. But if you want to take your samurai study further and actually um, push it to like using it in your life. The, the, what I've just shown you before is history, but using it in your life is how to be a modern samurai. Get that to sort of like say, right, I've got all this samurai information. How do I actually process it into using the way of the samurai? That's the one. How to be a modern samurai. It's also on Audible, as is the ultimate art of war. Right, ninja books. Let's have a look. As I say, let's start with Samurai and Ninja. Even just reading that through from the beginning, if you're going to start on your ninja path, will give you a good idea of where the Samurai are at and how Ninja fit into Samurai society. So then you need to go to something really easy introduction for Ninja. Ninja skills. Fully illustrated, showing you all the different tools, different equipment, different concepts, all in there, so you can understand what is Ninjutsu and how is it used on a basic level ninja skills next you want to start venturing into your um you, you want to start venturing into your what's the word come on anthony uh medieval scrolls and you should always start with eager and coke and ninja skills chikamatsu is the man to start with if you just want to get straight into um traditional and ninja scrolls that one eager and coke and ninja skills is one of the most underrated manuals of ninjutsu there's ever been e chikamatsu shikanori was an amazing man then, 
then you're going to take the big leap. You're going to go the Book of Ninja, the Ban Sen Shukai or the Man Sen Shukai, written by um, Fujibayashi Yasutake. Boom, all ninjutsu. Well, the majority of ninjutsu. So scouting as well, um, also including weather lore and um, esoteric teachings. But that's the one. You don't know anything about ninjutsu until you've studied that. Then you're going to go um, for this, True Path of the Ninja, which is the Shoninki. And this is absolutely sort of what you would... This gets you into the deeper aspects of ninjutsu. Uh, it's a nice follow-on from the Bansen Shukai, because once you've understood the Bansen Shukai, uh, that fills in the gaps for the Shoninki, uh, which is another story. After that, you want to stick with translations. Now, this is the secret traditions of the Shinobi. And this is Hattori Hanzo's um, Shinobi Hidem and other ninja scrolls, the Gunpo Jyoshu ninja scrolls, everything. This is a bit more like the Bansen Shukai and Iga skills will really, really get you to grips with it. Then this is much easier to read. If you read this first, you, you're a bit like, I don't quite get the context. But if you've read all them and then get to this, you'll get that. You'll get that. Then for something light-hearted, many people don't know this, but I actually did a, a Secrets of the Ninja um, comic book with um, another artist that I do. This is a full-on comic book, yep, about Hattori Hanzo's and Hattori Hanzo's ninjutsu using the Hattori Hanzo thingy. And at the very end, I did um, I did an illustrated guide through with Ben Morgan about how ninjutsu is used. And well, I think the images were done by Andridja, so which was superb. So that a lot of people don't know I actually did that because it doesn't come under my name. Then you want to get back to um, actual ninja sort of history. Now we need to get down and dirty with ninja history. So you're looking at In Search of the Ninja by me, one of the first books I ever wrote that was professionally published, and uh, you know by a prop full publisher, and still probably your baseline for getting you to grips with the more academic side of ninjutsu and what actually went on then we move on to the sort of supplementary ones back to the lost samurai school secrets of mubyoshi they have a few ninja scrolls in there which are called the mizukagami and it's worth seeing that for another angle of ninjutsu then you want to get yourself a copy of the ultimate art of war and focus on chapter 13 sun tzu's types of spying or use of spies with the five type of spies that is a study point if you've done all the others then you study that and you will get to grips with what is ninjutsu then if you want to know how ninjutsu is used today then i would suggest modern ninja warfare uh, modern ninja warfare ninja tactics for the modern warrior and that will pretty much show you how you can use it today or how it's used in the military day and excuse me while i just grab this then, if you're still wanting more on ninjutsu, again, how to be a modern samurai. Uh, I think chapter 8 has how to use ninjutsu to date in your life, but again, just blends it all in as a final. Of course, there'll be more ninja books from me, but at present, that is the order which they are read in. If you're just interested in Japan, get yourself a copy of uh, Old Japan, Secrets from the Shores of the Samurai. Very easy introduction, lots of cool little um, information, little bits of information bloody good book i enjoyed writing that and uh then go for the dark side of japan which gives you all the esoteric folklore and all that 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 will give you your introduction into what it's like in medieval japan really what was medieval japan actually like so those are the uh books i would do for just an introduction and finally if you just want to carry on with the anthony cummings theme and not the japan theme i'd go for these two so I'm going to show you these. So this is The Lost Warfare of India. I did this with Sonny. Uh, his name is there. Uh, he did it. Uh, he's just, we call him Sonny. And he did all the illustrations. And it's a really good look at ancient Indian warfare. It's one of the most famous texts broken down. So that you guys can totally get to grips with how ancient warfare was done in the East. Basically India, China, Japan. You know, obviously it's one of the ones working towards... Um, working towards an understanding of eastern warfare asian warfare whichever way you want to look at it and the other one and i would like to write more books in the future on vikings but viking martial arts which i did early on um do get yourself a copy of this this is literally everything from the sagas uh so basically a a, a an article went around the internet in the early 200s where a guy had divided all the 
all the he'd basically taken all the quotes about combat from the sagas, which were not written at the time of the Vikings, but they were written just after it, and it still makes it the earliest martial arts curriculum in the world, uh, in the Western world. So um, you know, for for men, you know, what I mean, for Western fighting techniques. Um, so what I did is I printed the article out, I cut it all up, and I found every knee shot, every elbow shot, every shot, every different type of shot, and I pinned them all up on boards, and I went through and reconstructed a martial arts curriculum based on the sagas which were written after the time of the vikings but that's all we've got to be fair and it goes through all the different things and it's got the quotes of each saga and how they actually fought and tactics in fighting so if you're interested in viking martial arts get that right guys that's it that is my books to date there's another one coming out which is um the ultimate guide to yin yang which i would say uh, just do for understanding Asia in general and that's actually on you know that's actually on Amazon at the minute you can get that as well I hope that helps guys uh, I have been asked this question a thousand times so I'm going to put this video up there so I'm going to just say see this video so there you go guys thank you very much <laughs>